Um, one of the topics that came up earlier that I do want to sort of address more in, there was the discussion of how there's not the NixOS book. There's not this really nice onboarding process to bring someone up to speed. And this is something I often hear about Nix, where trying to understand how it all fits together turns people away quite quickly. Yeah. Gosh, there's so much to learn. Yeah, let, let's say you just have a, a ton of free time and you could say, I'm going to do all of this stuff to to bring things up to the state I want it to be. What things would you like to see existing to make that process a lot easier for people? What resources I, I would like to have yeah, existed? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, what, um, what resources, books, tutorials, ha, ha, what would you like there to be to... <sighs> give people a way to at least get their foot in the door and begin understanding this before they start delving into some of the more complex configuration like you have on your system? It's, it's such a difficult question because, because as a Nix OS user, I'm also, I have to be a Nix user. Mm -hmm. I have to learn some Nix commands. And there's a lot to learn there. Mm -hmm. So, but, but when the, the best resource to learn Nix is probably nix.dev. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But if you go there, what you'll see is because Nix is a tool for, for software development or for software composition or mm -hmm. for building software. And the, so those, those, that documentation will be um, written for software people, right. not for a Linux PC user. Mm -hmm. And that can be off-putting, but this is the tool and this is what we got to learn. So if maybe the resource that, that I would like to see the answer to your question is documentation for Nix OS that teaches only what is necessary in terms of Nix mm -hmm. in order to get started with Nix OS. Whoa. I wish there was such a thing. Can you guys hear me okay? I switched to my headphones. Yes. Okay, cool. <clears throat> but I think the, the line we got to, not we, like we, but the, an interesting line to follow mm -hmm. is not trying to be the everything system for mm -hmm. everyone. Like distros already have channels, you know, uh, someone that wants more control, like the arch wiki is great, but mm -hmm. it, it, it veers more system administrator, someone that knows the guts a little more, you know, same with gen two versus something like uh, Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, like, I, I mean, I don't have a say in this at all, but this is just me like process, you know, hypothesizing. Should NixOS be have manuals that are like that accessible? It's I mean it, it's fundamentally pretty complex. Mm -hmm. Like it's doing things. So it could definitely be more welcoming mm -hmm. to even the group it's trying to to tailor for, which is like a a more system administrator mindset. But um, I don't know. I just I always try to tamp expectations or like. It's not like it's trying to be the next Mac OS, at sure, least to sure. me, right? Like that's, that's like a really closed down system. You're not meant to change it. And that trade-off means it's, it's incredibly easy, easy to use. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the fundamental thing here is like, we're letting you change any knob. <clears throat> so there's like already some starting off complexity, you know, so definitely skews power user. And right, I think right, we'll right. always skew power user ish. And I, I don't know, maybe some of the NixOS marketing teams could be like, don't say that or whatever, but mm -hmm. I think it's uh, uh, true. So I don't know, I'll mm -hmm. say it. So Matt, oh, so the Nix, the Nix language, mm -hmm. um, you, you can't avoid it, you can't avoid it. You, you, you can try to, on, to avoid functions and use only adder sets and, and lists. Mm -hmm. it's, it's possible. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, and maybe you can do that and then move forward, Dave, 
forward. But th those functions are not, I think what we need, an, and actually I've started recently, yesterday I launched a, uh, a stub <laughs> for that. But I found a lot of a great value in, in, um, in the way that I have the pattern that I follow in, in my own repository, mm -hmm. which is public, that um, I shared it uh, a few weeks ago. I shared it, I, I called it, uh, I, I named the pattern. And some, and some people decided that it's a great idea and they spent hours and hours and hours um, converting their configurations to use this pattern. Mm -hmm. And that inspired me to, um, and some of them even suggested it. Let's make let's make it something. Let's uh, make something of it. Let's mm -hmm. let's make uh, an, a homepage for this and uh, start documenting it, because so many are um, coming into this. Interest is picking up. Mm -hmm. This is what we're doing now, right? In in your show, mm -hmm. Brody. And uh, people are going to try to, to use it, and they're going to go through this um, pain. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of a lot of learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if we can create resources, templates, perhaps a template, perhaps show them here. You can clone this repo and start tinkering around with it. Mm -hmm. um, and here are the co set of commands that you need to know. Here's you, how you build your system, rebuild your system. Yeah, maybe, maybe resources like these mm -hmm. can, can help. I, I have actually a really good resource. I think you're going to agree with me, Don. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Nix, unlike any other distro, you get, because it's code-based, I, I will just go into code search on GitHub, cs.github.com, write lang colon nix, write the thing I want, and just endlessly browse little settings, <clears throat> how they set up their machines. I'll learn little snippets. There's no other distro you're doing that in, right? Yeah, now I that's great. The, the problem is, and, and, and this is like, I don't know the right way to solve this, is on a, one hand, it's great. GitHub has like amassed most of the open source stuff, right? good or bad, however that falls out. But the, the code search on GitHub is good. But when people don't put it on GitHub, I can't search it. <clears throat> if they're on uh, uh, GitLab or uh, some other forge, it's like not searchable at all. And I'm not learning from the thing. Now, I don't know, do I want to put them, you know, the easiest would be to say, move to GitLab, GitHub, sorry. But maybe they don't want to because they have some personal philosophy they don't want to. Sure. So it, it may be a meta code search tailored just for Nix, like to, to me, that's even more valuable than written prose documentation mm -hmm. that connects all these other forges where people could just register their Nix repo. <clears throat> and I could search, like I was setting up also my VS code and I was just looking up all the different ways, patterns, people are setting up their code to set up VS code. <clears throat> and I was, you know, just going through a hundred. There could have been the one I really wanted was on GitLab and I missed it. Who knows? So some meta code search tool I think would be huge. So like a nixexamples.com sort of deal. Where it's like But not like but not not static, you know, like I'm searching live. Right, like, right, right. Like um there's like live grep, I think is a it lets you search the Linux code base, like mm -hmm. like standing up a live grep instance. Mm -hmm. Uh, for all the different nicks you know and and usually these like code search tools have like they know the language they could do symbol analysis and, and you know all the fancy stuff he was showing in his editor the versions maybe we could do you know like it could be custom tailored mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to nicks to let you browse it um and that would be that, at least for me like so I, I don't know yeah maybe not like super beginner but I, I think really quickly after you have the basic material, mm -hmm. you're just in like absorption mode. Mm -hmm. Like I need to see thousands of patterns because there's personal taste. Mm -hmm. Like he mentioned, he just 
he's advocating this new one and it's you know not necessarily uh, this new way to build a system it's going to be one of many and they're each going to have their pros and cons and nix lets you you know and, and you could read about them but you're going to want to and and someone might come up with a new one <laughs> see like there's just so much fact finding mm -hmm. that's good and bad you're like i like seeing all the variations and then plucking out one from obscurity like i love that i'm going to use that in mind now um <clears throat> so something that would make that easier that's a great tip going to github turn the, la the language to set the language to to nix lang or nix and then search for vs code or or whatever it is you're trying to set up for yourself <laughs> the greatest nix expert uh, this is often not about Nix. The, pro the problem we're trying to solve is about, I don't know, the wor work around some issue that, that a program, that an application has. Mm -hmm. Let's see how, other, how others have, might have fixed this. Mm 